Man, it's bright. Good morning, guys. It is so high. The tide is so high up. It's never this high, but um, we're gonna be fishing over here because the wind's been up and I decided why not do uh, eat what you catch for the next 24 hours challenge. I thought it'd be pretty fun. We've got all the gear, so I woke up real early this morning, pack a car, and I've made it down to the creek here now. I think we can uh, start the clock. It's about, I'd say almost seven. I got up around 5.30 and I haven't touched any food. I say we just gotta make it till Tomorrow? Let's say we gotta make it till um, tomorrow pretty much. We got a full day. And if anyone knows me, uh, you'd know that I'm a real asshole if I don't eat in the morning for some reason. I just need food in my guts or I'm a horrible person to be around. So it's important for me to get this first meal, but this is where we're gonna be fishing. It is such a high tide, which makes me think that the fish are coming in because you wanna fish those high tides. Not a big creek. Oh, wow. So basically we've been hooked up with the Newest colors from Daiwa, so I'm gonna be using, I think I'm gonna be using this guy. I think that's gonna be the one, but um, yeah, we'll hook that up now. I think we'll take these for a run, and hopefully, if we're lucky, get ourselves breakfast straight away. We can cook that up, and we'll be set. Oh yeah. It's starting to get a little bit chilly here in Australia. I'm working on some hoodies, some faded shorehawk hoodies. I've got a few designs ready, so they look really nice. And also guys, the bucket hat. I know you guys keep asking. I just want this thing to be perfect. So I've been spending the last six months working on this thing. And basically I've just received photos that are, that one of our test designs are ready from the photos. It looks pretty good. I just don't want to give you guys a crappy hat that I've done up in about a week or whatever. So they're coming and they're looking just like this, if that's what you want. So um. Yeah, they're gonna be dropping as soon as possible, but if you guys wanna get any updates on that kind of stuff, just follow the Shorehawk Instagram page or my page. I'll link them both below. Oh, let's just have a quick flick in here. Now, I chucked a hand spear in my car. I got a few other things, so um, we don't have to fish if we don't want to. I think I might, with the, uh, the outgoing tide, might grab the spear and have a look around the mangroves, see if we can get any crabs or any fish. I'm here to eat whatever I can catch, because I'm hungry, so. We'll go have a, a look through there, but I'll keep casting through here for a bit. Hopes are high, hunger's starting to kick in, but let's see what we can get. I got the spear ready and it's super, super hot and dry, but let's get over, follow the tide out, see what we can catch. You're probably thinking, why am I wearing these socks? Well, they're not socks. I see you guys commenting. They're actually shoes. Now these stop glass, sharp objects, roots, sticks, all that kind of stuff from cutting my feet. But there's one thing it doesn't protect 
and that's stonefish. The spines can go straight through this. So I'm not invincible, but I'm still pretty much Superman. I hate when that happens. Face went right into that big guy. God, my face was in the web. I don't like those spiders, they got a big bum. And I think it's because they're venomous. Oh, did I get it? Oh no. That would have been at least a 30, like 35 maybe centimeter brim. I'm struggling to see the fish from the ground, so I'm getting up in the trees, but there's not heaps around here, unfortunately. <laughs> what? I thought they said it was supposed to be windy today. It looks flat as a tack out here. Oh, man. Alrighty guys, it's a bit later in the Arvo, not too much later, probably just after lunch and uh, the tide's heading back out so we've got our last chance to spear something while the tide heads out. I drove to a new area of the mudflats, it's an Adreno knife, just a dive knife, um, I should have brought this before but I got it now. If we spear anything this would just be to brain it, just to kill it as quickly as possible, give it an instant painless death. I got the knife and now we're going to head out here as with the tide going out, see if we can catch anything. The water clarity is all right. We just need that sun to hit it and it lights it up. A few clouds around. Look at the bloody size of that mud crab hole. That's a beauty. All the crabs are going to be hiding down, deep down in their holes. Can't see a thing. Oh my goodness. There is a turtle. Oh man. I would never ever spear a turtle. Even in a survival situation, I just couldn't do it. I love turtles so much. He was just sitting right here. He had a little home right in here. So cool, that's just what you find exploring the mangroves. Okay, I didn't want to shoot that guy. I think it's one of those gummy sharks, but he came straight to me. And I want to get a shovel nose shark. I didn't want to shoot one of those gummy sharks. But um, now that could have just cost me. Far out. Oh, really? No way, because um, I've um i been out filming this morning trying to do like a land base thing because I thought the wind would be up. Yeah, okay. No, I'm down. Well, uh, I'll meet you in like 30 minutes. All right, too easy. Sweet. Alright guys, I just got a call. I pretty much was just about to give up on that video, but um, I haven't eaten a thing yet and we're going back out. Apparently the, the water's cleared up a little bit out by a local island and the wind's, the wind's not up. So we're going to go out and go for a spear. I'll quickly grab my gear and just head out now. I'll see you guys out there in the water. Hopefully we'll smack a nice fish and maybe even a cray if we're lucky.
I missed the start from Oh, I went down and I grabbed a little rock and I scraped it on the on a bit of coral yeah. just to see what happens. Yeah. And a tusky just swam straight to the tip of my spear. Perfect. I didn't shoot it because I, I still don't know if it's of size. Oh, okay, yeah, so that they have to be 35, so not a massive fish. Yeah, I, I don't know if that would have cut it. I thought, oh, like I'll keep looking. Yeah, keep I'm seeing looking. a lot of shit. I saw a massive uh, blue swimmer crab. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. How good? How good's that? Yeah. Right behind the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Just got back from a sick dive and I got myself a nice cod, nice gold spot cod, about 45 centimeters. So that's gonna be good chewing tonight. I'm just gonna fill it this up right now. There's one delicious fillet. I'm gonna skin that, cook it up. Should be so good. I'm just down the beach, Salvo, watching the sunset. It's so beautiful. The weather today has been so bipolar, but um, pretty much what happened was at the end of that spear fishing, Jed managed to get himself a nice cray. Chris got a nice tusky and I shot an awesome cod, but unfortunately the GoPro on my head was playing up and I didn't actually get the shot of the cod. So um. That sucked, but I filleted it up and then I also cooked it up, but I was just too damn hungry and too damn tired to even bother filming. So, sorry about that guys. I should have probably filmed that, but I was too tired. I cooked it up. You best believe me, it was the best meal. I think I got a photo right here somewhere. So I did cook that up and I ate all of that. So I'm in a bit of a food coma, but pretty much I'm just watching the sunset. Great way to end the day. And I got some epic plans for tomorrow. So hopefully we'll be going out deep sea and potentially shooting one of my favorite fish. But you guys will have to wait to see that in the next episode in a couple days. So uh, make sure you subscribe, cop some uh, merch if you want from shorehawk.co, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.